Friends, hi there. In this video, I'd like to share with you the essential information about fertilizing your tomatoes one week after planting them, whether it's in a greenhouse or in open soil. During this time, the tomatoes have already taken root and slowly started to develop their root system, which means they can now properly absorb nutrients from the soil, so it's necessary to provide them with it. And right away, I want to warn you, tomatoes don't like nitrogen fertilizers. They prefer phosphorus and potassium fertilization more. Phosphorus in fertilization will promote the growth of a large root system, and along with that, the above-ground green mass will also increase. Potassium in fertilization will make tomato seedlings stronger and more resistant to adverse conditions, particularly to temperature fluctuations. And if you utilize nitrogen fertilizers on tomatoes, you will come across the subsequent problem. Specifically, tomato seedlings respond to nitrogen fertilizers as a signal to increase growth, but not to initiate fruit development. We, gardeners, refer to this issue as tomato blossom end rot, tomato stem. It becomes very thick, the leaves become very large, it rapidly starts growing upwards, while the flowers it produces do not set fruit, dry up and fall off because the tomato plant is focused on growing very large and completely forgets about fruiting, which it doesn't need. You will cultivate a sizable green vegetation without a yield. I have experienced this situation previously, so I am cautioning you immediately not to commit this error. And the best phosphorus potassium fertilizer is potassium humate. It looks like this, very dark and dense. The manufacturer always specifies the exact dosage on the packaging. For example, in my case, I add 35 milliliters of potassium humate. Blend it thoroughly, and you can proceed and apply the fertilizer to the tomatoes. And I pour only one liter of this fertilizer beneath each bush. This will be sufficient. However, if the soil beneath your tomatoes is dry, you ought to water your tomatoes approximately one hour prior to that. This way, the fertilizer will penetrate the soil faster and deeper, providing longer and better nourishment for your seedlings. If you're curious about how I made these garden beds that will never need to be tilled or weeded again, feel free to write in the comments, and I will be releasing a detailed video very soon, providing you with all the information you need. Wishing you abundant harvests and a wonderful day this year. See you in the new videos. Goodbye.